Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. It's day number three of the Birmingham City Vlogs. Um, today, I'm going to go and show you the uh, Cathedral Square area, which has the Cathedral of Birmingham and a park area. It's supposed to be. It's really nice. So we're going to take a look at that. We have a few things planned today, separate vlogs. I'm also going to be hitting up uh, the Jewelry Quarter, which is heaped in history. And then we're going to see the Chinatown fold up at the end of it with a meal with some friends in a, an award-winning Chinese restaurant in Chinatown. So today I'm just going to walk around. Look at these lovely buildings. I'm just making my way towards it. Now we're not lucky today with the, uh, the weather. The weather is a little bit uh, overcast. It's not raining, it's spitting once in a while. So hopefully it stays up so we could uh, at least finish the uh, Cathedral Square, the uh, Jewelry Quarter, and then the Chinatown. So we'll get those done and then follow it up by the meal. There'll be three separate vlogs. So make sure that you, if you're not subscribed yet, uh, just to hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Um, over 800 now. So we're getting closer to the uh, the illustrious 1000. So I'd really appreciate that. And also hit the, the like button and then uh, share it to your friends and that. And, Old field grow. So we're just going to make our way towards the uh, Cathedral Square now. Look at these old buildings with the red brick and then the stone uh, balancing it. Look at the, the parquet of the tiles. These really old buildings and it's mixed with modern and um, the old. So it's uh, Ram City Center Islamic Hub. That's what this building is. You wouldn't know by looking on the outside. Now, obviously it's a multicultural city, Birmingham. There's mix there, so there's all sorts of types of foods and cultures that are available if you come to uh, Birmingham. Uh, look at that building on the corner. Look at the, the stone work on the top with the red brick. I hope the GoPro picks it up, it's really good. Anyway, so we're going to make our way down. I'll turn it back on when we get close to the Cathedral Square. It's still a few minutes walk. Okay, this is a short walk from where I was in the main part of the city. It took me like 10, 15 minutes to get here. Now I'm at Birmingham Cathedral. This is a really unique style of building. It's located in the heart of uh, Birmingham. Now it's surrounded by all sorts of buildings. You have the old and the modern all blended together. They are using this also as an overflow for the uh, Christmas market. We didn't get to this part of it. It's on the outside, but they basically replicate all the different events. Now you can go down the slide if you want. Now it's not opening now because everyone's back to work Monday. Um, but here's the uh, cathedral itself. It's a very unique building with this stained glass like a common theme, everything's covered with this wire mesh. Visitor, welcome into the cathedral. Your fan service, enjoy hysteric. Entry is free. You're welcome. I wonder if we can go in there. Oh, look at the nighttime divine, they have it all lit up. And then here's what it looks like around us. Well, let's take a look at the statue here with the shaft and you see there's crypts and grave markers in the area which is common and then the first bishop of uh, Birmingham that's who buddy is okay let's see if we can walk around in there so there is Sorry. Oh, it opens up for you. Thank 
glass at the altar. That looks really nice. So let's quickly walk around. They hold the uh, daily services here as well, so it's a practical cathedral. Um, not like the one in Kilkenny. If you want to see the Kilkenny vlog, that's another amazing cathedral that you can actually go and visit. chairs are at it and at night they have a nighttime show. So basically that's what it looks on the inside. We'll take a walk around. The doors open up for you. It's nice and handy. So let's go explore the grounds on the outside, see what we can see around here. Okay, so that's closed off for the uh, Christmas market. That'll be going up until I guess Christmas. Sometimes they go a little bit afterwards. Looks like they're taking that part down already. I don't know if they have another show or something happening. But there's always different like shops. Um, so it's not just the, uh, the square itself, Cathedral Square has many boutiques and offerings. Maybe we'll look at a place and get a something to eat, like a breakfast or coffee or something. To get us a little damp and then we'll see what else there is to offer around here. You can see the roads that shoot off. There's all these different shops. I think that one goes to the Grand Central st Station, if I'm not mistaken, which is where we had the uh, Karen's uh, Diner experience. So if you watch that vlog, if, if it, um, you want to see it, it'll be linked at the bottom of the, the video. Um, it was great crack uh, filming it. Oh, I still haven't edited yet. We'll see how much I can actually edit because there's a lot of... Uh, copyrighted music in that and they're not afraid of a bit of profanity from now and then but it was all in good fun it was actually and the food was quite amazing you know it was well worth it i think the bill in total came to 29 pounds that was with the burger and chips and the chips were very good and uh, a beer so plus the performance the performance itself okay so we can't really get around the whole building because uh, they've had it all set up for... Well, we could probably sneak in here. See the clock tower on the top. It's not really showing the right time. And then there's a monument there. And like you said, it's, it's like the artistic architecture around the building. Yeah, the old and the new. Like, these look more modern. These look like uh, 70s designs. And then you mix on the other side and you have period features in the 1700s and 1800s. So, so this is what it looks like. A little shopping van, a little van here where people can get their snacks. So I, I think they get the coffees and the sandwiches and stuff. Falafels, wraps, juice, trit teas, one pound, that's very reasonable. Hot chocolate, 149. Uh, traditional hummus with served with bread for 3.99. And uh, yogurt and soft drinks for one pound. That's, wow, that's very reasonable. And it's located right outside. Wow, looks very neat. And here we have a water fountain right outside. Take a look at this. We'll go around here and then I'll probably go back to that place and we'll give it a shot and see what the local hummus tastes like. Ooh, I can go for some hummus. Maybe I'll just try the hummus and then we'll go to another place and try like a coffee in that. So basically, so that's the, the other side of the cathedral. 
We're just opening it up to get some vehicles in and out. And then, like I said, here's some more. See the old building in between of the modern one? So there's three different styles right beside each other. Don't know, don't know if it works. I prefer the old Peacher, Peacher uh, buildings, but Kizzy Mish, let's go and try the uh, falafel oh, or the hummus. Okay, let's try this van food. See what uh, some. Uh, it says uh, falafel, top falafel, but we're gonna go for the hummus. I think. So let's see what we got. Uh, they have vine leaves. I think I'll stick with the uh, hummus. <laughs> And they have all the olives and stuff. Turnip pickles. Never seen those before. How are you? Very good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Oh, this is a... This one Middle East food. This is falafel, eh? Falafel, yes. Let's uh, give it a shot. Yeah. I wanted to go to Lebanon. Oh, Lebanon, yeah. We eat I wanted, I wanted to go to Lebanon. Um, yeah. In April, but it's too hard for the visa. No, I had to send in my uh, exactly. passport, my proof of employment, and all this other stuff. So, and instead, I uh, and plus with the war in uh, Israel, probably not the best time. Yeah. So I'm going to Azerba uh, Azerbaijan in April. Azerbaijan. Okay. They do falafel. They do, eh? Everywhere. Turkey. But they're Turkish, like, eh? Turkish, they do falafel. Mm. All Middle East, basically. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. The falafel was very nice. They have fresh juices too. Soft drinks, and water. I'm just gonna try the, the hummus and then I'll get to drink somewhere else. Let's see how it goes. How long have you been here, boss? It's almost six months. Six months? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, it's alright. But yeah. we was in the street. We went to the new street. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, we have another branch. You know what? The uh, one time, Mister Market. Market, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm only here for till tomorrow. I came here on Saturday. All right. And I'm leaving on uh, you tomorrow. From? Uh, originally Montreal, but I live in Ireland for the last All right, 15 right. years. So. Very welcome. Very welcome. Yeah. Thank you. And there's the Arian, the yogurt drink. Arian. Yeah. Mm. I love it with banana. Is that like a lassi or? Yeah, a lassi. A lassi? Like a yogurt. Lassi yogurt, yeah. yeah. It's funky. I was this in, um, I was this in uh, Nepal for a month. And they drink a lot of yogurt drinks. Yogurt, you know? Yeah. I think it's Turkish from Nepal. Turkish, yeah. yeah. The best to drink with the falafel. Yeah. When you order the falafel wrap, you have to drink this one. <laughs> Could I have try the uh, hummus with the bread there? Uh, actually, right now. Uh, no hummus? I'm making the hummus, yeah. Okay. We will just know the opening. Okay, you're just opening? Actually available right now falafel wrap. Falafel wrap? Yes. Okay, I'll try a falafel wrap. Go with a falafel wrap. Very delicious. Very nice. Do you want all salad there? Yeah. Sorry. You want to see the sauce? Make sure. Yeah, sauce. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Very good. Very good, Denise. Steams it up. And I'll take a take a yogurt drink too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. So, give it a shot. Unwrap uh. this. Thank you. Give this a shot. 
Okay, so I finished the uh, the falafel wrap and the uh, the yogurt drink. The yogurt drink, I have to say, wasn't my, what I expected. It was very a bitter taste, bitter, bitter, watery. Like I was expecting more of a lassi in my head. So, you know, but for it was uh, six pounds altogether for the 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 yogurt drink and the uh, and the wrap so it's not bad with this building right here in front of me very dense the great western arcade it's this off from the uh, cathedral square and look at the inside there with all the shops and all that and look at the floor let's just take a look in there see what it's like Here's a place where you get mortgage. And then the floors, look at the floors. Are very well done. It says caution, they're slippery because they're actual tiled, so. And there's a barbers. Look at the, uh, the way the uh, ceiling's done. And all the decorations of the Christmas stuff. And so on. And then uh, there's a Egan kitchen here and then these are up all over the place for to um, take pictures with and they're for donations for charity I like the way that these they're all the same like they're wooden style um, doorways and uh, it all blends in it's really really nice UK's first non for profit bar hmm. interesting Well, a big Christmas tree, the whiskey shop. There's a little candy shop here too. Loki. Richard, some wild wines. And then Here's another Greg's. Greg's are everywhere. And another barber's. This looks like a oh, burrito place. And baguettes. And then Taste Hawaii. Kua Poke. And then it opens up into another type of a square so now I'll have to uh, take a look at my uh, my old phone there in Google and see where I am and see where where is up to next but if not I think that might conclude the uh, Cathedral Square tour so make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button 
and follow me for the next video which will be coming up shortly and that is going to be the jewelry quarter in uh, Birmingham City.